today's video is going to be about my thoughts and opinions regarding the Peloton bike and I've been using it pretty regularly around three to four times every week and taking their 30 minute classes each time. I have seen results, I've lost two pounds so far and this is solely with using the bike, not changing my diet or lifestyle. Then I also document my journey during those three weeks so that will be later on in this video if you're interested. Retail price on this bike is $22.45. They do have a payment plan of $59 per month for 39 months for 0% APR. However, we just decided to purchase the bike outright. There is a recurring charge of $39 if you want access to their live and encore, which are rerun classes. However, that charge is not mandatory if you're just planning to use the bike with like a blank screen or you want to use one of their scenic rides throughout the world. However, I would recommend just to pay for it because that's the whole reason why you're getting this bike in the first place. The size of the spike is 2x4 and they do recommend that you purchase an exercise mat specifically for exercise equipment to place underneath your bike. Um, they don't recommend to use a yoga mat because it's too soft and it won't allow your bike to be as stable as it needs to be. Now you may also be asking yourself if you can just get an inexpensive stationary exercise bike. Um, Costco has some for $150 and same with Amazon as well and just place an iPad on top of that. There is quite a bit of criticism online regarding that fact so feel free if you don't want to pay the $22.45 just to pay for a $150 bike. However you may find that it's not as motivating as taking one of the Peloton specific classes. Taking one of the Peloton classes is very comparable to taking a live studio class. I've taken spin classes before at LA Fitness back when I lived in Southern California and the amount of effort and sweat that goes into those workouts is very comparable to doing these workouts at home. So the ship time for this bike was actually pretty fast. I received mine within one and a half weeks of placing the order. After placing the order for your bike, they will contact you within 24 hours to schedule a delivery date if you haven't already chosen one at the end of your checkout screen. Their delivery service is white glove. The bike comes pre-assembled. The only thing they have to attach is a screen which is padded in a separate box. And the whole process takes about an hour. I would recommend that you sign into Peloton or use their app beforehand to create an account with them so they can help you if you have any issues with setting up your bike. You can also have multiple usernames under one account. So if you have multiple people in your household, everyone can have their own username to track their individual progress. Also during the installation, the guy helped us install the cleats onto our shoes. That took around 10 minutes per shoe, so for my husband and I, it took him around 20 minutes. But during that time, he was just chatting and answering any questions that we had about the bike. Now you may also be wondering if spin shoes are totally necessary. Of course they aren't. You could use sneakers on the flat portion of it, but they don't recommend doing that. Especially since when you're spinning really fast, you don't want to get your legs or feet caught up in that and also your power and output will be improved with using the spin shoes. So if you don't wanna pay the $125 Peloton branded shoe price, you can also go on Amazon for as little as $60 to $80 for cycling shoes. You will have to purchase the cleats separately. The ones that they use for the Peloton shoes are the Look Delta cleats, and that's $15 on Amazon. So when you add it all up on Amazon, you might as well just pay for the Peloton branded shoes, which is what we were thinking. So that's what we went ahead and did. So this is the box where the shoes came in. As you can see, I ordered a size 39. So these are what the shoes look like. There are two Velcro straps at the front, as well as a plastic portion right here. The back shows the Peloton logo, and there's also a logo on the side as well. Now, does Peloton have any sales? Unfortunately, they don't have sales, but they do have Black Friday promotions. The most recent Black Friday promotion of 2019 was the inclusion of the $249 value, the Works accessory package, which included shoes with the cleats, headphones, a heart rate monitor, an exercise mat, and weights. I actually got the bike two days ago, so I've used it a total of two times before this just to get the hang of it, but we're gonna do a 30 minute workout every day for two weeks. So this is day one of doing the two week Peloton challenge. This is where I'm at currently. I'm about 135 pounds. I also have the Peloton spin shoes right here. Um, we just got that directly from their site. And that also includes the bottom portion right here, which clips onto the bike. There is a flat part on the pedal to leisurely ride, say if a friend or family member wants to try out this bike, but they do recommend to clip in right here when you use this bike for full effectiveness. So this is the current setup that we have. We have this bike in the master bedroom and generally I try to use this bike when both of my kids are napping. So I'm able usually to fit in a 30 minute workout during that time. So the first order of business is I'm gonna adjust the seat height and they want the seat to be level with the top of your hip bone. So they measured me at a 13. So that's where we're gonna have the seat today. So 
So far I've tried two instructors, I've tried Allie Love and I've tried Cody Rigsby, just one class of each. So today I'm going to select one of Allie's rides and you can also filter it by duration so I'm going to select 30 minutes and just pick one that seems adequate. So today I'm going to do a 30 minute pop ride with Allie Love. Day two workout complete. So today I'm going to join one of the live classes with Ali Love and this starts in 30 seconds. Day three workout complete. This was my first time doing a live class. This is workout day four complete. It was cut five minutes short because my baby just woke up. So here is baby Vincent. He just turned three months old yesterday and he just woke up from his nap. He was about 20 minutes into his nap before waking up. So I'm gonna have to try to get him down again before finishing my workout. I think to make up for the shorter workout today, I'm gonna try to do one of the non-bike exercise routines. Day five, workout complete. So this is ride day six. I just did a 35 minute ride and I actually took a few days break in between day five and day six. And this is the progress so far. So far I've lost two pounds. And here is Vincent. He woke up from his nap a little bit prematurely once again. And yeah. I know babe. Just finished day seven. Just finished workout day eight. I've had the bike for about three weeks and two days so far. And most of the rides that I've been doing are like the 30 minute rides. Today I did a 20 minute hit class as well as a 30 minute ride. So yeah, here's a quick view of the calendar. So I got the bike installed on the 6th and I took a ride that day. The first week I did a bunch of rides. Second week I did a little bit less. And the third and fourth weeks so I've been tapering off a little bit. So in the past 30 days of activity, I've ridden a total of almost 90 miles and spent six and a half hours on the bike. So here is my three week check-in. This is what the progress looks like so far. In total, I've lost about two pounds, but hopefully I've been able to gain some muscle. So I know like this number on the scale doesn't reflect all of the results so far, but the biggest problem area I want to work on is my stomach because after having two kids, obviously it's not the same. So yeah, that's like a work in progress. Also on my legs, I like to lean them up and get rid of some cellulite on it. Uh, just because when I was pregnant um, this past time in 2019, I didn't work out a ton. So I feel like there's been a little bit of buildup there, but it's nothing that a little bit of exercise and diet won't be able to reverse. Mm -hmm. 